Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we are not going to be discussing any type of specific, I guess, information. We're just going to be going off of a theory that I've had, or at least some type of feeling that I have regarding the future of the ninja. What exactly will the future of the ninja look like? What will they do when they retire? What exactly is the ninja's end game? Now, of course, with this being said, we can definitely go back to older seasons and kind of infer based off of things that we've seen before, such as the famous reflections from season five. When the ninja were in the tomb of the first Spinjitzu Master, they all saw reflections of their future, the exceptions of course being Cole, and Lloyd wasn't really there at the time, so we couldn't really see what Lloyd's future looked like. Cole's future is kind of up for debate, it's not super clear why exactly he couldn't see his reflection. Some people think it's because he could turn invisible as a ghost, but I've always kind of argued that maybe that wasn't super accurate because again, the other ninjas saw reflections from the far future. Why would Cole only see a reflection from a few months later? It really doesn't make much sense to me. But with the other ninja, you could definitely see that they all obtained some type of old sensei identity, or at least some type of master identity, very similar to Master Wu. They were very old, very wise at the same time, their robes are very similar to Master Wu, very poetic and just very majestic in nature, and I feel like that's what we can definitely see the ninja going with. We actually do have a couple of other designs for Sensei Ninja in the online game Ninjago Wu Crew. You can see that we've had a couple of other examples of what older Sensei style ninja could look like. Uh, these are of course done up to feature, I guess, the younger ninja instead of older ninja, but the outfits themselves still look very cool. I could do without the actual hats though and the ninja masks. I think what we saw in possession is a lot more appropriate for a final design for the ninja, like their final look, what they will look like after they retire. And I honestly feel like that's where we can see the series end. I've always been a big fan of this and I've always been a really big supporter of this idea, but at the end of Ninjago, why don't we get like a flash forward of sorts, basically showing the ninja alongside maybe some other elemental students, maybe their children, maybe their elemental descendants, whatever you want to call them, and we could see them raising the next generation of ninja and the next generation of elemental masters. I know a lot of people are kind of opposed to that idea and I really don't understand why. I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinions, of course, but this almost happened in Ninjago already. Hands of Time at one point was going to be the ending to the overall story of Ninjago, and a Chronix and Crux would have went into the future 40 years, and they would have seen the ninja looking like this. They would have seen the ninja all grown up, all mastered out, all wise and everything like that. But fortunately for Ninjago's well-being, the series continued and that ending was never, I guess, prevalent in the story, but something like that could very well happen for the very ending of Ninjago. And these designs exist. It's not like we don't have a concept of what these ninja could look like. We have designs for them, like I said, and I think they're really good, all things considered. I feel like the ninja team could very well be senseis or masters in the future. All they need is just a little bit of support from the fan base themselves and the ninja will be pretty much good to go. I'm excited to see where the future takes our favorite ninja. We know that the ending of Ninjago will not be coming for a very very long time at least, but I feel like having a solid ending in mind is definitely an advantage rather than a disadvantage. And I feel like the creators of Ninjago have that ending in mind as they've teased it before and they almost used it at one point. So I feel like for the ninja's endgame we could totally see them all settling down and retiring as ninja, but becoming senseis or masters, raising the next generation of ninja and elemental masters to take on a new threat, whatever that threat may be. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. Do you feel like the ninja could have a future like this? Why or why not? Leave all your thoughts down below, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including once again the Marvelous Jan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell. Oh,